evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for our main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Crawford's making his way down to the ring. And he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Miguel Cotto's making his way to the ring right now, and he does so with an attitude that belies his in-ring intensity. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Teddy, many times throughout our broadcast we've seen through the years, when we get a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter, there can be a tendency for clashes of heads. Yes, there can be, and also tripping a little bit. Sometimes they step on each other's feet. Crawford's hurt by a superb hook to the head. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Hurricane. a big right hand there. Oh, look at that. He's hurt. But hey, I give him credit. He's smart enough to know what to do now. Yeah, the referee needs a crowbar to separate him. Blocks that punch. Way through round number one. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Locks it away. Miguel Cotto comes from a boxing family. His uncle, a trainer, his father, his brother, boxer. I mean, boxing is in his blood, Teddy. And a real good amateur background. This is a guy that, in his mind, he was born to do this. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Hurricane. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Last 10 seconds. Keep moving. Got to be. See those coming.
Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. Right now. He's confident. Let's turn this around. Get close to him. Hook to the body. Uppercut. It's there for you, all right? Listen to The best Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test them, when you push them up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. Good flush, straight left hand. Ellie ties up there. Crawford's showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Able to land the hook to the head. And right from the start, He's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Hurricane's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Cotto had his super fight in 2008 against Antonio Margarito, and unfortunately for him, he is damaged badly. Solid. Hey, Cotto's floored right there. Boy, he doesn't look good at all. One, two, three, four, five. Miguel Cotto looking to fight on after being floored. <sighs> man able to land an uppercut. You see him holding on. Scored well with that straight left. Good biting, snapping shot by Hurricane. Miguel Cotto's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. down the final moments of this round. Where's the body, kid? The body shot. And okay. that's the end of round two. Well, we've seen this before. A fighter with a bad round. cut and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice. He's hoping to come up with seven. Thank you. Cotto's in a tough spot here. 60 seconds, that's all you get to gather yourself after being knocked down. Just 
grabbing on to his opponent. Crawford's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Good defense just covering up down low. Crawford's left landing well. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Miguel Cotto's tying up more now after being knocked down. And that's what you expect. He's trying to buy a little time. He's not worried about winning this round right now. He just wants to get himself right so he can win other rounds. And he can be around for other rounds. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Yeah. yourself! Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Teddy, I'm sure so many times you've been approached on the street by guys who say, yeah, I can fight. I fought a little bit. What's the biggest difference you've found through the years with the guys that think they're tough and the guys that are really in the gym? Well, when they're out in the street, somebody's going to usually stop it or you're going to pick up something, you can hit them. You don't have that, of course, in the ring. And also, maybe the most important thing, Joe, is you're not mad. You know, getting mad is like somebody getting a drink and them to open up and all of a sudden start talking. You get mad and you go after what you're mad at. You're in that ring. You don't have that. You don't have that scotch, so to speak, that you can shoot down and get those muscles going. You got this. One, two, one. Ten seconds to go in this round. Scores up top with a left. Serpent, don't stand in front of it. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punch, okay? Throw more punch. Jab, jab, hook. You're losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Relax, relax. You can do it. Hurricane's in complete control of this fight early on here. Teddy, he's up three zip on your scorecards, but even more important than that, he may be able to end this fight. He's put his man down on the canvas. Well, his opponent keeps squaring up with him, giving him a lot of surface, and he's finding that surface. <laughs> Trying to go downstairs, but off target. You got this one. Wow, is he defensively sound. Really frustrating his opponent now. Hurricane, so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. More and more punishment is being doled out. Cotto's face is absorbing, and it's not holding up well. It looks like it's sunset right here on his evening. Accuracy an issue the there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Not able to land the uppercut. Head body, head body. Come on, keep going. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Move! Well, 
Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. Cotto's punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his <laughs> opponent notices. Well-timed by Hurricane. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. There you go, looking good, look good. Off the target by Miguel Cotto. Get in there, let's go. Come on. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. He just missed that shot up top. Able to land the jab. Final 10 seconds. Cotto's corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beatdown on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking, and that's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down and to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities to exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the... Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Oh, and there you go. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? the fight. Miguel Cotto's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Crawford's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.